Misery. We hit about 96 degrees in a lot of spots, and we also had some pretty decent downpours. Not a whole lot, but where it did rain, it was pretty heavy just briefly. We're still seeing a little bit of action on radar tonight. Tiny bit of some shower uh, action around Plaquemines Parish, a little bit not far from Lake Salvador and Luling. A little bit here close to Hammond as well, showing up even at 10 p.m. Not extremely big or heavy storms at this point, but just a little bit of rain out there. Actually, a surface high pressure is close to us to our southeast, but we are looking at an upper pattern, which I'll show you in a second, that will support, I think, some scattered showers and a few storms tomorrow and into most of this upcoming week. And it will also be really hot when it's not raining, kind of like we had today. Looking at precision cast through tomorrow morning, and then this is by 3 p.m. You can see a flare up of a few showers and storms. This could be by 8 and 9, and then into the nighttime hours tomorrow. This is midnight. Things tend to calm down, of course, after we get past sunset and into the nighttime. We're at 84 in New Orleans, feeling like 95, though. Our temperature is mostly in the 80s, but look at these afternoon highs. 96 for a lot of spots, not quite at the 99 degree record at the airport at Kenner, but also not too far away. And our feels like temperature still into the 90s. We are looking for tonight only a slight chance of a bit of shower activity here or there. Temperatures in the 70s for lows and then tomorrow we'll do it again. Middle 90s, 30 or 40 percent chance for a little bit of spotty or scattered rain. And there's a heat advisory tomorrow, too. So we have both things happening tomorrow, 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. Just like today, same kind of criterion here for 111 degree heat indices, which I did see the lakefront top out at earlier this afternoon. Your Sunday planner, you know what to expect for July. Hot and steamy, and then we also have that chance for some rain. Now, here's the upper pattern. There are actually two centers of high pressure, one out to our east, one out to our west, which places us in what you can call a weakness. That's where you can see scattered rain form. Also, toward the end of the week, this trough may dip toward us, so that may bring our rain chances up a little bit heading into next weekend. Most of this week, it's pretty standard, 30 or 40 percent rain chance. That's about average for summer. Eye on the tropics, we don't have anything expected to form in the next seven days. There's been a lot of Saharan dust and just not a lot of spots that look likely to actually form up or organize. So we'll take it. I think at this point, seven day forecast shows those temperatures staying pretty high all the way through this week. And then next weekend, maybe Friday and Saturday, we could get a cutback in temperatures along with that slightly higher chance for the scattered rain. So overall, pretty typical mid-July forecast, a little higher.